Hey up everyone, we have the fabled Yamaha YZF600R6. When it comes to sports bikes, the R6 starts where the VFR finishes. It's a much more focused sports bike. However, if you like a sports bike riding position, the R6 will happily tour the Alps or more, and I've known plenty of people commute on them too. The R6 is so much easier to ride faster than bigger, heavier, more powerful sports bikes that it's a much more practical ride. The smaller engine will give better fuel economy than any litre sports bike, and it can find its way around most tracks faster too. It's only the very best riders who can actually use the extra power of a litre bike, and then only if they have the ropes to. As it is, out of the showroom, the R6 produced around 120 horsepower when it was first released in 1999. With a 15,000 RPM redline, it was the first production 600cc bike to be able to actually put over 100 horsepower down on the ground. Now quoted figures for this one vary more than most, but by 2003, when fuel injection was implemented, it had risen to around 125 horsepower, and by its peak in 2006 to 2008, that was up to over 130 horsepower. Again. Depending on your choice of carb or fuel injection, it is these years from 1999 to 2009 I would think of as the best to go for. The later ones are still great bikes, but especially now they are out of production, I think the later models will be slow to depreciate in price, whereas the older models are already beginning to mark their territory in the collector's market. When buying, service histories are always good but there are a lot of R6s that have had a lot of money thrown at them, and you can tell a lot from the mods. If someone has gone to the trouble of fitting Racetech fork internals or a Wilbur's rear shock, they are less likely to have scrimped and saved by not doing oil changes or valve clearances on time. Plenty of people would have swapped cans, but ask for the paperwork to confirm any tuning has been done. Remember, a loud can doesn't mean more power. The extra power only comes if it's a good silencer and the bike is tuned right. If someone has invested in a full racing exhaust system, complete with downpipes, and has all the paperwork to show it is tuned properly, they've spent a much bigger chunk of money. But what if it's been thrashed, I hear you say? Well, for one thing, the R6 engine likes to be revved. For another, the R6 is still a lot faster than most riders. So I wouldn't worry too much, unless it's been raced or looks obviously neglected. If you can, follow the bike and get the rider to rev the bike and get it up to speed, and then shut off the throttle with the bike still in gear. If it smokes on the overrun, then it could be valve guide oil seals or rings. Either way, it means work. If you're mechanically adept, that may be fine, but it can be time consuming. If you are not okay with the spannering, it's probably better to walk away. One thing I will say, I would argue certain bikes I have had have never really run right until after I had thrashed them around a track to clean off all the carbon deposits left by riding them around within the speed limit. The R6 is one of those bikes that just likes to be ridden fast. I hope you've enjoyed the video and can take the time to look around the channel. If you enjoyed this one, then part one of the Bombproof Bikes video and the Bargain Bikes videos of the 80s and 90s should keep you smiling too. I will link them below in the description. As always, thanks for watching and I look forward to hearing your comments about the bikes I have inevitably missed. If you got this far and haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing means you get to find out first when our regular updates, news, views and other videos go out each and every week. It all helps kick the YouTube algorithm into gear and gets the channel out there to new potential viewers. Please share the video with anyone you think will be interested too if you could. The YouTube algorithm is a fickle beast, so it's really helpful for me if you can share it around. You can visit the website or the Red Bull shop linked in the description below for the best biker t-shirts and other merchandise. And there are more exciting motorcycle adventures 
and other stories from the shed and beyond on the website too. So why not grab yourself a cuppa and take a look around? You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching. I hope you get some great riding in. Ride free everyone. <laughs>